you know, as long as we keep them secrets and keep them to ourselves, then it's hard to do that and actually be sincere about wanting to improve the resource. Uh, as much as, you know, there is a temptation to, to hold a good fishing spot near. But the more streams we have, the less we need to keep secrets, you know. If there's a 500 streams to fish, then sure, I can keep a couple secrets, but I'll tell everybody about the rest. to unlock that, essentially unlock that behavior where where it can occur. You know, trying to get that back. By restoring some of the larger by, watersheds and Well like yeah, so by restoring the water well that's a big question. Is is it done by restoring the watershed? Is it larger watersheds? Is it done by restoring the smaller streams that feed the larger watershed? Or is it done by reconnecting everything? Uh, or some combination of those. I'm sure it's a combination of those. We have um, developed a technique now that we are treating a lot more streams with uh, limestone fines, which is about a sand particle size. And in doing that, we've been able to treat, we're up to probably about 80 different streams and water stretch that we're treating. And we keep growing every year with that treatment. It's very easy, it's a quick technique, and it seems the streams seem to be responding very well to the technique. before it empties into the um, dry fork. And I'm working on a plan there that's a little more creative than this. We had over 50 volunteers that uh, helped carry five gallon buckets of limestone fines into the middle fork of the Williams. So, you know, that alone is bringing the brook trout populations back. 